Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 6 of my Traveller's Notebook with Record Fawn series. So I am working on, um, well this notebook is actually nearly filled up with um, what I've done so far. I've taken so many extra sleeves to get those shaker pockets in, um, but I wouldn't have it any other way to be honest. I love how this album or this notebook is all coming together right now. So I am using, the left hand side is the back of the pattern paper from the previous layout and if you haven't seen that one um, then there's a whole playlist of all of these videos in um, so I'm going to use that side and I'm using the coordinating uh, matching uh, pattern paper so you get two in each pack um, from freckled fawn so you can either use one of each side or you can use two of the same side if that makes sense so all I've done there is I've just used a circle cutter to cut a um, a semicircle. Not quite a semicircle, but I'm going for the idea that I don't want this all to be um, the same pattern across the two pages. So I cut down a piece of white cardstock to the same size as the pattern paper. And I'm going to have that um, on the right hand side of this layout. So I had my sewing machine. Um, out as it was so I thought I'll add some uh, detail with some stitching if you don't have a circle cutter then you can just draw around the edge of a plate and just cut it out so if you're wanting to to try this idea um, then and you can always adapt anything that I'm doing in a traveler's notebook you can always adapt onto a full um, 12 by 12 layout as well you just scale it up and add a few more embellishments so don't be scared to try and if traveler's notebooks aren't for you and you a traditional um 12 by 12 scrapper um or even a 9 by 12 8 and a half by 11 wh whatever you whatever format you scrap in um you can adapt anything that you see in the videos that i bring you and so yeah just chucking in some stitching now i messed up a little bit because my stitching went a bit wonky so all i did was i stitched on um I turned it over and I or turned it around and stitched the opposite way down and gave it another wonky line. So it was there as if it was meant to be like that. So and looking back on it, maybe in even a month's time, I won't even remember that I messed up. I perhaps thought that that's how I was meant to make it look. So I'm just trimming off those edges there. Um, you could tape them down if you're going to add any stitching. You could tape them down, but I quite like the messy threads hanging out. So I am going to work with a couple of photographs from 2016 and that was um, me and my husband and a couple of friends had gone away to Wales for um, a week. We'd rented a really nice um, private cottage barn thing and um, with its own hot tub and it was just glorious. And we did the touristy thing. We went ahead a massive um, lake called Lake Bala or Lake Bala. So anybody that's Welsh that's um, listening, I'm sorry if I've just murdered the pronunciation of that. And so we jumped on the train that took us around the lake and um, just remember it being a super windy day and we were trying to get a photo. And you can see the one in the left there um, when I'm not covering it up. Um, my hair is literally all over the place and yeah these photographs have just been hanging around i haven't had um chance to really get them scrapped and i quite like the fact that i've got two spaces here that i can add two photographs onto so i've used the little tile alphas there from freckled fawn they are super sticky so um i'm really cautious when putting those down because they're re really hard to um to actually pull back up if you make a mistake so adding in a little label sticker and again um I think everything that you see here apart from the roller date stamp is all from freckled fawn as i've said in my previous videos um this series is um being sponsored by freckled fawn um we've got a couple of things going on with um with them there's a 50 dollars gift card giveaway um on the first episode to so make sure you head over there if you haven't entered that that is going to be closing at the end of next week i think um looking at the dates and um the and also they're doing a um because of the cost of the uk uh postage and stuff they have put a ten dollar gift card a ten dollar discount um using claire 10 all the details are in the description box down below um so there's a ten dollar off a thirty dollar order and that's really to help the uk ladies try and combat some of that 
uh, postage charge from the US. So I know a couple of people have messaged and said that the pocket pages, um, the actual inserts are out of stock. They're not, they're back in stock. Um, so if you were wanting to get your hands on any of these, then again, just use the link below. They'll know you've come from my channel and um, you can pick yourself up some of these amazing um, pocket page notebooks if that's the best way to describe them so um just whilst i was chatting away there i've added the date into that label stamp and then you could see underneath i had just messed up um a little bit on the ink so i just added in a, a puffy sorry no not a puffy an enamel heart and then these are the puffy word stickers these are my absolute fave and what i wanted to do is pull some of that you've got the stark black from where it says lake bala and also the black from the stamping so i'm just adding in a third pop of black um and it works well with the word explore because that's exactly what we were doing i wasn't sure whether i was going to add any journaling onto this um it's got the the location it's got the date um so i didn't really have anything else to sort of say about it so I thought I would go without any journaling on this one. And if I do want to add some journaling in, journaling in, let's try that again, then there's a nice white space on the right hand side that I can do that. And then I've just matted my photograph on the left on some white to help pull the white over to the left of the page as well. Final thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add in this um, washi tape. So these are washi strips. And, I, and again, these are so sticky that um, I just completely messed up that first bit that I pulled off. So I'm going to tear both edges because I want the torn look on this. And then I'm just going to pop that up as if it's taping down that photograph on my layout. And then I'm going to want to do the same with the right hand side photo. And so I'm just going to pull a little bit more off of the other sheet, get two sheets in the pack of this washi. And I think that's pretty much it. So um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this um, series. I most certainly am. And um, I'm going to be up tomorrow as well with a traditional scrapbooking page. So look forward to that. And yeah, thank you very much. If you've enjoyed it, then do the usual with a thumbs up and leave me any comments down below and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.